Now at 5.30, a day after State Senator Tony Navarrete resigned amid felony charges, the leader of his Democratic Party caucus says they're moving forward and not looking back. Yeah, they will not be launching a legislative investigation. Political editor Dennis Welch shows us what's next to fill his seat. It doesn't look like there'll be any sort of internal review conducted into Navarrete's behavior during his tenure in office. The top-ranking Democrat in the state Senate basically said it's time to move on. Navarrete was arrested Thursday and charged with seven felony counts related to child sex crimes involving two kids. Navarrete has denied all of the charges, even though he allegedly apologized to one of the victims in a phone call that was recorded by Phoenix police. During a video press conference, Senate Minority Leader Rebecca Rios said there were no plans to conduct a review into Navarrete's past behavior. Currently at this point, Navarrete is no longer a member of this body. We no longer have jurisdiction over him. We were never made aware of any allegations of inappropriate behavior during his tenure here. And, um, and that, that is quite literally um, all there is to say on that. The political focus now shifts to who is going to replace Navarrete and the Maricopa County Board of Supervisors will select someone to fill that vacated seat and that could take several weeks. In the newsroom, Dennis Welch, Arizona's family.